Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial and like you guys have seen in the intro, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to attach objects on the wall, on the floor, everything you want to know about this topic. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas, just like always on Wednesday, and this is basically the clip of me, raw, uncut, you know, walking in through, in, uh, through a small alley and I'm going to uh, uh, place some objects on the right. Uh, right here so if you guys are excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below also subscribe down below for more advanced tutorials and i will say let's get started so we're gonna use a little bit more of uh, kind of 3d masking so basically first of all when you have recorded uh your um your clip what you want to do is you want to make up your mind like what do i want to have on the on the wall or on the floor now i'm just going to uh drag in a small subscribe button all right so this is the subscribe button i'm going to uh, make um move on the wall so i'm going to create a new video track because we're going to we're going to place everything above our walking uh shot so as you can see right now this is just a subscribe button right in the middle but it doesn't really look 3d and everything Everything. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go to if amp and crawl this time We're gonna go to uh, track motion this one and as you can see right now This is just a basic uh, menu where you can move uh, stuff around and stuff But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this from source alpha to 3d uh, Source alpha as you can see now those uh, four boxes are popping up and this is basically uh, where you can edit uh, all kinds of stuff like you know putting it into the into this direction uh, this box can you can you can twist it and stuff so this is what we're going to use uh, to make it float on the wall so we're going to also use keyframes it's going to take a bit a little of, a little bit of time uh, and as you guys saw in the intro the you know the logos are a little bit flashing it is done really quickly uh, but it's just you know for showing purposes like once you pay attention to this and you're uh, li you're really into the editing uh, frame by frame it will look very better than, uh, than my result but that's just basically showing what I mean when I'm going to show you guys so as you can see we have four boxes and we're gonna start off with positioning this one on the wall so we're not gonna pick the first one but we're gonna pick the second one and we're going to make sure that it is nice and aligned then we're gonna go back to the first one uh, make sure that everything looks realistic. Then we're gonna go to the box below it, as you can see. Now, this, what this does, it is just going to uh, make it like look 3D. And you're probably thinking, you're like, dude, I didn't know that this was possible in Sony Vegas. It is a pretty, um, well, not standard, but a pretty basic program if you compare it to After Effects. But everything is possible in this editing program. So that's why I'm coming at you with this tutorial. So now that we have this one uh, placed in the position that we wanted, we're gonna place it right here on the wall i'm going to also make it a little bit smaller so now we're going to position this and we're going to align this with the bricks on the wall as you can see because how i did this is what, what you want to do is you to make sure that you have a realistic uh, that is really hanging on the wall uh, what you want to do is you want to follow a certain uh, line on the brick wall like let's say that you want to focus on this line you know there is some concrete you just want to make sure that you when you move up frames by frame you will stay aligned on that brick you know on that line so it will go out of the screen very accurately so what we're going to do before we're going to make everything move we're going to click on this icon so we will actually see uh, the sync cursor is checked and then we can go frame by frame and it will actually move you know with itself so we're going to start where the you know the button appears that is right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play and pay close attention doing it frame by frame so you know two monitors will be like uh like perfect because we we have a little uh, less uh, you know space on our screen but this just works very good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go frame by frame so I'm gonna click one frame and I'm going to start you know putting this guy to the right so so it basically comes down to having it onto one single spot so we're gonna go one frame further then we're gonna place this guy a little bit more to the right go one frame further you know place it to the right so what happens if you do this uh, patiently it will look very realistic so i'm gonna do it a little bit faster and you know 
and so you guys will know what I mean with paying attention and you know you know spend some time on this because it will look very accurate and it really looks like like it that is hanging on the wall so we're gonna go ahead and go frame by frame and we're gonna place this guy uh, on the same place keep in mind you know keep the uh, the button with this concrete line uh, keep that aligned so it will look realistic so I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing it a little bit more faster. But what you guys want to do is move it as, you know, the least frame by frame. So it will look the, like the more, you know, the less um, you're going to skip, you know, for example, going from this to this, you know, if you're doing it from this to this, this minor change, you know, that will really look great in the end result. So I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, go frame by frame. And you can do this with other stuff like, you know, a picture of yourself, anything that is just an image, you can place it on that wall and animate it. So I'm going to just keep on doing this and I'll catch you guys when I just got done. Alright folks, I got almost done as you can see in the last few frames and like I said, you can do this with anything you can imagine and I'm going to show you guys how it looks right now, what we just did in this project. So this is how it looks. It's going really fast. It's also also a little bit laggy. Let me just put it to half. As you can see, it's going really fast, like I said. Uh, but you know, the more frames you use and the less space you use per frame will make it go slower and will will make it look more realistic. So if I play back this video, as you can see, it is just going uh, away. You know. Fr uh, from the wall at the same tempo as I'm walking as you can see so I'm gonna open up the project that I made for to, you know to, to create this intro so this is how I did okay folks this is a new project as you can see and I'm, I just muted the music because that would be a little bit uh, interrupting so if I played back this video as you can see right here I have the subscribe button moving along then my GAH logo uh, right here as you can see I muted it for a second this is what I mean you know with the logo there it is moving with the subscribe button so this is how I come to create and you're wondering like can you show us how to do this on floors uh, well it is just like, the exact same thing you can also do uh, stuff on the on the other wall but you want to make sure that you don't have any windows uh, or doors or anything on the wall because that will you know make it l look uh, less uh, accurate so this is basically how to attach up ob objects uh, on the wall and on the floor on the floor is just the same thing you just want to push it you know position this on the floor and then just go frame by frame until it's out of the screen so that is so simple this guys it is not really that complicated you don't need after effects for this you can do this in vegas as you can see so that is it for the video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and i'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new twitch tutorial as always on thursday so i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video just alex halford